wakapata tayari msichana ame bleed na ameaga dunia so i met this girl on a dating site uh, we exchanged numbers and we met on a particular day in a certain Airbnb. The guy seemed nice from when he picked me from the Uber all the way to the house. Everything was so nice till midnight. The guy decided to beat me up and ask for money. Did bad things to me, was using a knife and an iron box to threaten me to give him his, my phone passwords and M-Pesa pin and accounts. So after everything was done, I gave him everything, he checked my account and saw the amount of money I had. Nikiwaambia hii ni uchawi or something like cult mnasema au anga this au anga robbery with violence now listen to this lady how she met John and how she ended up in the room Najua kuna watu wanaona kwa social media kwa TV na picha ambazo zinasukua sana katika mitandao na katika TV nadhani ya kwamba we are number one trending wale tuna trend sana 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 watu wa kiusisha kanisa letu na kusema sister yangu aliwawa eh ni kweli my sister alidungwa visu kama tatu hivi na mtu alimuua akamduka visu kama tatu my only sister ambaye ameishi America miaka yake yote amekuwa eh university hapa lakini baadaye aliwawa Nairobi, the vibrant capital city of Kenya, is known for its bustling streets, diverse culture and thriving nightlife. However, beneath its glamorous facade lies a grim tale of terror and survival. In this tale, we dig into the disturbing events surrounding the notorious serial killer, John Matara. He preyed on unsuspecting women in Nairobi, particularly Starlet Wau, and explored the resilient and strength displayed by those who managed to escape his clutches. John Matara, a seemingly ordinary man, emerged as a nightmarish figure in the streets of Nairobi. His charm and charisma masked a dark and twisted mind as he meticulously planned his deadly encounters. Scarlet Wau, a young woman full of dreams and aspiration, tragically became his victim. Her untimely demise sent shockwaves through the city alerting women to the lacking danger that awaited them. Matara modus operandi Matara modus operandi involved luring his victims with promises of excitement, adventure and pleasure. His charm was intoxicating, drawing women into his web of deceit. They were enticed by the allure of a driving escapade, unaware of the sinister intentions that lay beneath the surface. Matara's ability to manipulate and exploit their desires made his crimes all the more chilling. Despite the horrors inflicted by Matara, some women managed to escape his clutches. Through sheer luck, institution, or their own resourcefulness, they evaded their clutches in this dangerous predator. Their stories of survival serve a testament to the human spirit's remarkable resilience and strength in the face of unimaginable terror. While it is essential to acknowledge the darkness that existed with Matara, it is equally important to humanize the victims and survivors of his crimes. Scarlett Wow was not just statistic. She was a vibrant young woman who hopes and dreams with hopes and dreams by shedding light on her life and the lives of those who escaped. We honor their memory 
and resilience reminding ourselves of the importance of empathy and compassion the survivors of matara's atrocities faced immense physical and emotional trauma however they refused to let their ordeal define them with the support of their loved ones and counseling service they embarked on a journey of healing and rebuilding their lives their determination and resilience inspired others who may have endured similar experiences reminding them that there is hope supporting available Matara's reign of terror eventually came to an end when he was apprehended by the authorities at Magadi Hospital where he was receiving treatment after he did a terrible a uh, murder The city of Nairobi breathed a collective sigh of relief but the scars left behind by his actions remained. The aftermath of his crimes serves as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance and the need to address the underlying society issues that contribute to such horrors. The story of Matara and his victims is a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the most unexpected places. However, it is also a tale of survival, resilience and indomitable human spirit. The women who escaped his clutches through forever scarred have shown the world the strength that lies within us all. Nairobi a city teeming with life continues to heal and rebuild determined to overcome the shadows that once haunted its streets a very pretty girl msichana mzuri amebarikiwa aliwawa Sitaki kuongelea hiyo lakini ni vizuri niongee kwa sababu najua washirika wangu wako disturbed kidogo wanashindwa kwa sababu watu wa mitandao wanaongea vibaya sana Aliokweli sister yangu alipata mwanaume na yule mwanaume akamdate katika akamdate katika e, mitandao na wakati alimdate katika mitandao wakapendania huko kwa Facebook nikiwaambia hii ni uchawi or something like cult mnasema oh anga this oh anga robbery with violence now listen to this lady how she met john and how she ended up in the room were it not for starlet probably john would never have been brought to book me yangu i narrate to people wanaona ni kama ni movie on 27th of october 2023 i met john via gigi app I was selling a Nikon camera online since I had some financial constraint and needed to pay my bills. I had rent of 2 months so I urgently needed money. John called me and asked to meet me in town so he could buy the camera. I was relieved. At least my house would be open. We met at Stage Mart Chap Chap just outside the supermarket. We talked for like 2 minutes and he looked at the camera and shortly after I received a call that totally captured my full attention. My friend was delivering that same day and she had been rushed to emergency. The call took quite some time and by this time John had started walking and subconsciously I followed him. Don't ask me why. I also don't know. We entered a building that I didn't identify at first and we went up to fifth floor. Still on phone, I came to my senses when we entered a room, a cheap hotel room. I immediately hung up and started questioning why we were in a room. The guy became violent and grabbed my hair and forcefully kissed me. I realized I'm in danger and asked him if I could use the toilet. On the table there was a quarter bottle of hunters a carrier bag that I later found out contained a knife and a rope anyway he refused for me to use the toilet he then called out the name G this was the friend 
alikuwa anajificha kwa cho he then asked him to hand him the dagger after being handed the knife he ordered me to take off all my clothes and lie on the bed he then tied me with ropes and demanded my phone Say-